Hello, fellow Chelan County residents. My name is Ed Martinez, and I'm a longtime homeowner and resident of Chelan County living in the Leavenworth area. I'd like to talk to you today about two things, democracy and accountability. I'd like to elaborate on both these topics and how they relate to the election process of the Chelan County commissioners. Okay, let's look and see at what happened uh, during the 2022 election cycle. Here's the elections and voting uh, by the Washington, Sec Washington Secretary of State. And there you can actually go to uh, an area called Chelan. There you'll come up with this long list of all of the results that happened in the election cycle for 2022. I'd like to focus on the Chelan County Commissioner District too. It was a well fought race, it was fair, um, and I felt like if it was fairly clean. The winner came out just barely ahead by just a few percentage, a fraction of percentage points, Sean Smith. So what is this anyway? What does it mean when they talk about Chelan County Commissioner District 2? So here's Chelan County in the state of Washington. And here is how the different districts are divided within the Chelan County. First district right now is the commissioner, Kevin Orbe. Second one is Bob Bugert and Tiffany, and third is Tiffany Guerin. Bob Bugert is gonna be replaced by Sean Smith. Let me look, let me, let's focus a little bit on this because I wanna show you something. Within each particular uh, district, it's divided into precincts. You see that there's Leavenworth and you can tell there's some of the precincts here uh, that are drawn in this kind of like red overline. Huh, I wonder if I could take the voters for each particular precinct and find out more detail as to how this vote came out for each particular district. As a matter of fact, you can. If you go to the Washington State uh, voter uh, results, you will see this little tab called precinct results. And in it, you can actually find out how many votes Ann Hesburgh won, how many votes Sean Smith won, and how many were right in. These are just miscellaneous folks that people decide that they're going to put their names in. All right, so look at that. That's a long list. What we have to do is get all of these little districts here, these little precincts, and divide them up by district, which I've done for you. So let me see what happens when we finally do that. Okay, if we do that, we find out that, um, that for Ann Hesburgh, she actually won District 1, 3880 by 3615. And Hesburgh also won her own district or our district in Leavenworth by 6502 versus 6250. That's a 252 vote difference and 260 vote difference in, in, in District 1. The only one she lost was District 3 by, by a total of 847 votes. So the total ended up being that Sean Smith won the race. But why should District 3 decide who, uh, what District 2 should actually have for their commissioner. That is in no way a rep representative democracy, and it doesn't hold him accountable to us either. Right now, Sean Smith can thank District 3 for getting elected, and so that's who he is going to be accountable for. I don't know about you guys, but that is not democracy. That is a hegemony, and it's not fair but I've got some good news for you. There's no reason that this needs to be this way. Let me show you something else here. All right, under RCW um, 3632 from the Washington State Legislature, it talks a little bit about the commissioner districts and uh, how basically you can set those up. In it, you will find that the Board of Commissioners, each county shall divide in their county into three commissioner districts so that each district that comprises nearly as possible one third of the population of the county, provided that the territory comprised by any voting district such as this remains compact and should not, et cetera, et cetera. Now, it also talks about this thing called the commissioners of any county may authorize a change to the electoral system pursuant to RCW 29A92040. Let's see what that has to say. Ah, look at this. A political subdivision that conducts election person to state, county, or law is authorized, is authorized to change its electoral system, including but not limited to implementing a district-based election system. And I think that's what we need to do in Chelan County. Chelan County needs to stop this nonsense about not basically allowing democracy and not allowing a voice 
of the people that they represent. Once again, we have to have democracy and we have to have accountability. Our commissioners need to be elected by us and they need to be accountable to us, not to some other district. Thank you very much for your time.